If you're like me and recently started a new Neopets account, and I know some of you are, then you might look at your user lookup and find it a little... lacking. So many users on this site have the coolest lookups, from customized pets to cool CSS to shields with very high numbers on them. But the thing that always stands out to me is the trophy cabinet. Some of these are site event trophies. You can't get most of these anymore, and while that's a bummer, it's not the end of the world, uh, or Neopia. There are plenty of other trophies you can get to round out the bottom of your page. So if you just started an account, or even if you didn't but your lookup is looking a little bare, I'm gonna help. Here are six easy, surefire trophies you can get in just a couple of days without using cheats or bots to play the games for you. You don't even have to compete against other Neopians for scores, so you can do these at any time. Most of these are pretty basic, so if you're looking for more advanced or rarer trophies, I might make a guide on that in the future. Like this video or leave a comment if that sounds interesting to you. There are two kinds of easy trophies. The first are guaranteed. Put in the time and you'll get it at the end of the grind. There is no RNG or randomness. These can be finished in a day. The first of these is the Altador plot trophy. Remember how I said most event trophies aren't available anymore? Well, this one still is. This was released as a tie-in with the Darkest Fairy PS2 game, one of my personal favorites. It takes a while, a couple of hours if you're following a guide, longer if you're trying to solve all the puzzles yourself. It's pretty fun and kind of funny. I haven't finished it on this account yet because I've been trying to get it done on stream, but if you're dedicated, you should be able to finish it up in an afternoon. To start the Altador quest chain, just go to the Hall of Heroes in Altador and talk to the janitor. If you need a guide, I'll link it below. As a bonus, I was also able to access a lot of this quest on my iPad, so you may be able to play some of it on your mobile device. Finish it and you get a shiny gold trophy in the events section of your user lookup, as well as a bunch of other things. It's really honestly worth the time to do it. The next of the guaranteed trophies is Punch Bag Bob. This is a Battle Dome trophy, but even if you're not into the BD, don't worry. This punching bag doesn't punch back, so you literally cannot lose. It might take a while, but no matter what your pet's equipment or level, you should be able to finish it. Again, probably in an afternoon. I did it with Ashcomb, who was level 20 and had a couple of cheap Battle Dome items at the time, and it took me about 25 minutes. Make sure you select Easy. Difficulty only affects how long it's going to take, and it doesn't change the trophy itself. If your pet is lower level, I'd recommend popping on a favorite TV show and just grinding it out. You can click a button while attacking to skip the animations, saving a lot of time, and I found myself getting into a rhythm. If you don't have a Battle Dome setup, here is a list of inexpensive equipment, some of which I used. About half of my Battle Dome setup is from dailies, so it's like really cheap, but I did use the Scrolls of Ultra Nova doing about 30 damage per hit to speed things up a bit. If you get to the end of those two grinds, you'll have the trophies to show for it, guaranteed. But there are also a few more easy to get trophies that require a little more luck or strategy to get. They also might cost a couple of Neo points, but honestly, these are very cheap games, so I wouldn't worry about it. These are pretty easy to get. Like the first two, they don't require competing against other Neopian scores, and with enough tries, you'll eventually have them on your page. The first of these is Cheat. Cheat is a bluffing card game where you try and get rid of all of the cards in your hand before anyone else. I went into the rules in an earlier video, which you can find in the top right corner or in the description of this video. Cheat technically has three trophies, a bronze, a silver, and a gold, just like the Flash games. To get each rank, you have to win a certain number of rounds. Three for bronze, five for silver, and all of them for gold. The good news is you don't have to beat them all in a row. If you lose, you can try again from the same round and keep going without losing your place. However, your place does reset at the end of the month, which I learned the hard way when I was trying to get this trophy. So if you start it late, make sure you finish and get the gold trophy or you'll lose all your hard work. My advice for this trophy is just play it in your spare time. Like the rest of these on the list, this one you can play on your phone if you want. Also play conservatively. Don't accuse anyone of cheating unless they're about to run out of cards. This makes the pile bigger when someone does get called out for cheating, and while this sometimes can screw you over, more often it'll mess up some computer player and give you a massive lead. It took me a while, but once I got a feel for just passing on accusing even when I knew they were cheating, I won every round pretty easily. The next is Snow Wars. Snow Wars is a lot like Cheat. You can get a bronze, silver, or gold trophy for beating more rounds, and it can be played on a mobile device. Basically, it's Battleship. It's not particularly hard, but the later rounds are a lot more random, and it's kind of slow and tedious, which is the only reason I don't have this one on this account yet. But like Cheat, you can get this in a day or two, depending on how dedicated you are. And finally, we have my favorites, the Solitaire Trophies. I don't know why I like these so much, probably because I love to play solitaire games on my phone anyway, and playing these can win me a cool trophy in Neopets, and a negligible amount of Neo points. So the trophies here are basically the same idea, but the games play a little bit differently. So there's regular, also known as Klondike Solitaire, and Pyramids. 
Klondike is played by moving around sequential cards in alternating colors in order to play all suits into piles at the top of the screen. You know this one. You played this one on Windows as a kid. In Pyramid, you play sequentially, but suit doesn't matter. You remove cards from the pyramid, only taking cards one higher or lower than your current card. In both games, if you run out of moves or cards to draw, you lose. There are two sets of trophies for these games. One is really hard to get. It's the high score table trophy. Like the Flash games, this one pits you against other Neopians, but unlike those, it actually uses your cumulative score to do so. Every time you play the game, even if you lose or aren't winning Neo points, your score gets added to your total. I believe these scores reset if you haven't played in three months. This can be both good and bad. It means that every time you play, you're one step closer to reaching that high score table. But it also means that the high scores are like in the tens of millions. So, you know, you have a long road ahead of you. But not to worry, there is an easier set of trophies well within your grasp. These are listed as bonus trophies, and you get them just by beating a certain number of games. Bronze for two wins total, silver for five wins. These are easy to grind out just by playing mindlessly, since eventually you're bound to win a couple. The gold trophy requires two wins in a row, which means it's much harder to get, but that means it's also possible to get lucky and win two games in a row early on, getting gold before you ever even see silver or bronze. And those are six quick and easy trophies for your empty trophy cabinet. There are actually a couple of other easy to get prizes that I didn't mention, so I might make a follow up if I manage to snag them myself. Let me know in the comments if you have any that you think are easy. I have a Shinku Warrior 2 trophy I didn't even mean to get. Do you have any like that? Any suggestions for me or others in the comments are more than welcome. Oh, also, if you want one of those shiny site event trophies, just remember the Altador Cup's coming up. We'll be talking about that in the coming weeks, so remember to get ready for that and make space on your lookup for that trophy. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.